This might be the breakthrough paper of the year. A group of astrophysicists have found convincing evidence that the Nobel Prize for Dark Energy was awarded in error. The expansion of the universe might not be accelerating, as we've been told, and that might just entirely change our understanding of the universe. Let's have a look. The Physics Nobel Prize of 2011 went to Saul Perlmutter, Brian Schmidt and Adam Rees for their discovery that the expansion of the universe is accelerating based on observations of distant Type 1a supernovae. This accelerated expansion can't be caused by any normal type of matter or energy, so astrophysicists have attributed it to a mysterious type of dark energy. The Nobel Prize winning observation heavily relied on regular regularities of this type of supernovae. They assume that these stellar explosions always happen in a very similar way, no matter what galaxies the supernova is in. Astrophysicists like to refer to them as standard candles. The new paper, which just appeared, says that, well, that just isn't so. They looked at the newest collections of data of supernovae from two different experiments. Together, these are more than 3,000. This is much more data than Perlmutter, Schmidt and Rees had in the 1990s when they did their analysis. Back then, they had fewer than 100. The authors of the new paper took the data apart into groups by two different criteria. The first is how far the light traveled from the galaxy to us. This is the same as as the Nobel Prize winners did. The further the supernova, the dimmer it appears. And since the universe expands, the wavelength of the light gets stretched as it travels. This is called the redshift. It's the relation between the dimming and the redshift that tells us how the universe expands. The new thing is that they also look at how old the galaxy was when the supernova happened. This is a different type of information. Basically, the overall light emission from the entire galaxy has a different spectral shape depending on how old the galaxy is. The kicker is that they find these different properties are correlated. The younger the galaxy, the dimmer the supernovae independent of the redshift. The problem is now that naturally, the further back in time you look, the younger the average galaxy. But since the age is correlated with the supernova properties, this looks exactly like the key evidence for the accelerated expansion of the universe. Basically, they say that it's wrong to conclude that the expansion of the universe is accelerating. It's just that younger galaxies have on average dimmer supernovae. They don't say why this might be the case. They simply say this is what the data really say. And this isn't one of those maybe results with low statistical significance. This is a whopping 5.5 sigma correlation, which they call a serious systematic bias. They also redo the calculation for the expansion of the universe and find that it currently isn't accelerating. It's actually slightly decelerating, though it seems to have accelerated in the past. If it goes on to decelerate, then this might mean the universe will actually re-collapse. And yes, this finding is neatly compatible with with other recent results from DESI and the Dark Energy Survey. They also found that it looks like this somewhat alleviates the Hubble tension, though it doesn't make it go away. The paper has been peer-reviewed and it's published in a decent journal, but... This correlation in the redshift data isn't entirely new, and its relevance has been debated among astrophysicists for a couple of years now. Most believe that the effect is there, but much smaller than what this group says. This is why I give this paper a 6 out of 10 on the bullshit meter. It seems likely that soon enough another group will question these findings. What does it mean if this is correct? Well, for one thing, it means that the 2011 Nobel Prize in Physics was given out in error. Mm. The data analysis from Perlmutter, Rees and Schmidt has been questioned previously for various reasons. These criticisms have all come down to the fact that it was a very small set of data and it simply couldn't support the conclusion in a solid way. Back then, it spoke a lot in their favor that there were two independent groups coming to the same conclusions. Alas, it doesn't take much digging to see that these groups were 
far from independent. In fact, the papers from the two groups have one author in common, and the Rees team explicitly acknowledges help from the Perlmutter team. It also means, hopefully, that physicists will finally revise the standard model for our universe. In the past decade, evidence has been mounting that something is seriously wrong with it. This finding might be the final straw. So the standard candles aren't as standard as we thought they are. In the European Union, this would not have happened, which is maybe why we're so good at deceleration. Yes, I do read a lot of news and know that chatbots still aren't any good at writing my scripts. But what does help me a lot is Ground News. Ground News is a news platform that collects and summarizes news, which has been published all over the world. Not only do they collect all articles on the same story in one place and give you a quick summary, they also give you a lot of extra information that you don't find in the standard media. I use Ground News to follow science news because it saves me a lot of time, but I'm always surprised how oddly skewed the coverage is. Take, for example, this story about 30 new species in the Southern Ocean. This basically wasn't covered on the political right. I find this extremely odd. Ground News also gives you factuality rating for each news item, tells you who owns the media outlets, and shows you where the news has appeared. Appeared. Ground News also has this great feature called Blind Spot. This tells you which news has been almost exclusively covered only by one side of the political spectrum. And of course, I have a special offer for you. That's a 40% discount on the Vantage plan, which gives you access to all their features. All you need to do is use my link ground.news or use the QR code. So go and check this out. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.